Energy is like money. Is there enough money? This is the first question that needs to be answered in many transactions in everyday life. If the money is insufficient, questions about brand, features, size, etc. are not relevant at all. It is the same with energy. If a process is not energetically possible, it does not happen. Observe the car's motion. Why is the car not able to go over the barrier? Its initial potential is not sufficient. Can the car go round the loop? Energetically it seems possible. Barrier and the top of the loop are below the level of the initial position of the car and so this should be possible. It is the same situation now. Barrier is at a lower height and the top of the loop is also at a lower height. The car does not go round the loop. It loses contact before reaching the topmost point. It needs a certain minimum kinetic energy at the bottommost point of the loop to go round the loop. So even if energy is sufficient, a process may not happen. Further questions need to be asked and answered to check these possibilities. Barrier and the top of the loop are below the level of the initial position of the car. The car must be able to go round the loop. But there is a surprise again. It is too fast at the top of the barrier and loses contact with the ground. Energy, while very important, is not the only quantity that needs to be accounted for. But if energy is not enough for a process to take place, it does not happen no matter what. No further questions need be asked.